Hey, hey homos. homos. Welcome to our podcast, Happy Healthy Homo. I'm Keegan. And I'm Joe. We are still boyfriends. We are. Um, welcome, welcome. We are looking forward to this episode. It's a little bit different, a little bit of a fun one. Yeah. Um, well, for us, hopefully for you guys as well. But. Well, yeah, I mean, everybody's nosy, aren't they? So we're, we're yeah. going gonna to go behind the scenes on our relationship a little bit but before we get into it mm -hmm. we should do the parish notices yeah um, which are guys if you're listening to us on an audio platform and you enjoy it please if you haven't already rate us on apple Podcasts, particularly just because it helps with like rankings and things and we just really appreciate that and it helps more people mm -hmm. hear us waffling <laughs> so yeah. yeah review rate us uh, if it's on youtube subscribe like it. You can also give us a follow on social media mm -hmm. at happyhealthyhomo.com. Yeah. We also have a series called Helpful Homos, which we do on Fridays, where we release a video where we answer some of your questions and queries that you email to us. Yeah. So if you want to get in touch with that, just drop us a, if you want to drop us an email in general, hello at happyhealthyhomo.com. But if you want it to be for the Helpful Homo series, please put help in the subject line and please do let us know if you want us to use your name or yeah. not, because we don't want to upset anything for anybody yeah but with all that said let's just crack on with the episode yeah we thought we get a lot of questions um and it, <laughs> as i say that you might be going you don't get a lot of questions <laughs> but we do get a lot of questions whether uh, particularly on socials in dms and things mm -hmm. people uh, you know the ins and outs of our relationship because we don't like kind even of... questions like how did you meet so it'd be good to have one video where we can go <laughs> yeah we can just signpost people yeah. to this it's just us, this just us being lazy basically <laughs> um so how did we meet joe well keegan we first <laughs> met because i actually i'm not a first time gay podcast host <laughs> i know dun, dun, Short dun. Current, this is actually my third <laughs> I, is it third? I knew it was your second. I, didn't know it was your I had one with an ex of mine. So I seem to have a habit here of making a podcast with a boyfriend. We. Um, which was, yeah, not very good. It wasn't very, it lasted like five episodes and uh, just wasn't very good. Then I was a guest on a podcast called Four Puffs in a Podcast. Uh, that doesn't exist anymore. Doesn't exist anymore. There's a pattern here. In yeah. There. <laughs> well, they then, I was a guest on the podcast and then they replaced one of them with me. So I was on it for a few episodes um, and then we just stopped doing the podcast. So it doesn't exist anymore. Neither of them do. Um, but whilst I was on that podcast, one of the guests was none other than the Keegan Hurst we see before us via Zoom. We had you on Zoom, didn't we? Yeah. And so I, Joel reached out and said, do you want to yeah. be on the podcast? Because one of them had said, there's this guy called Keegan Hurst. He does loads of great things with like gay people and sport. And he's a coach. and He's ex-rugby player, ex at the time. And then you went back when, but anyway, that's by the by, um, ex rugby player. And then I was like, oh, I literally just followed him like the week before or some, a few weeks before. Um, and he was like, oh, well, you message him then. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, great. I hated doing logistics and it wasn't, I always left them to do logistics. Um, so I messaged Keegan and said, would you like to come on the podcast? He said, yes. And that was it. Literally, it, you came on the podcast maybe a month later. Yeah. And again, that was kind of it. That was it. We didn't really, we didn't speak for like no. six months then. Yeah. Did we? No. And then um, I, I re reached out and messaged Joel and we started chatting. Mm -hmm. um, and we were chatting for a, a good few months, yeah. weren't we? Yeah, it was ages until we met. We were texting, like it got to the point we were texting like every day, but we still hadn't like met up. Yeah, so then we went on a date and the rest, as they say, is history. is history. So I like to say we met in real life, but we technically didn't because it was still through technology, through Zoom or technically through Instagram, I suppose. But it wasn't on Tinder It wasn't or on dating apps. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that. No, and I was on all those apps and I like, I just Joel completed them. I completed them, <laughs> literally went through all of them. And I was like, oh, like that is how I'm going to find my partner. So there was no shame with meeting someone on Tinder or Hinge, but... Yeah, I like the fact that we it, didn't 